it's Robert Harrison, and I'm a pianist. The session and performance work kind of materialized, um, and my classical style is, I still use it regularly, um, I accompany the Royal Schools exams, and in my teaching, uh, the classical method is essential to the beginnings of any musician and the continual development. You, you can't separate classical music and jazz as learning forms because the technical grounding and the theoretic grounding you get from classical music is essential to backing up the expression and improvisation that you get in jazz. Yeah. Just sort of getting a buzz off helping people, or no? It's um, it's, it's it's incredibly rewarding because you. I've had the opportunity to develop students from their very first sound, 
to students who are at university level applying for master's degrees and succeeding. It's incredibly rewarding and you also have to continually develop your own techniques, not just teaching but performing techniques, in order to convey what you want to teach in the most effective, positive and professional manner. Um, meeting new students also forces you to develop a professional etiquette um, which translates through everything you do uh, musically. Well, you develop your own teaching methods as you go along, you encounter new people, so professionally you have to develop new techniques according to the person that you are educating. You also take techniques from your teachers as well. Um, I have had a lot of teachers in my time. Um, the one I take most from is probably my university teacher. Um, and yeah, he admits himself also that he stole his techniques from his teacher. Right. So you pass down the knowledge. Standing on the shoulders. Absolutely. say that one's more powerful than the other, but you know, you no. get different things. Yeah. Uh, what is it for you? A certain amount of creative freedom comes from jazz. And it's also a way to apply. I, I still practice from a classical perspective, because that has been my life's training. Yeah. Um, but applying that theory, a jazz musician will think, has, think of a scale as an available group of notes that you can play, rather than a scale that is to be applied to a piece in its specific form and a specific fingering. So it gives you much more freedom in the massive world of complex theory. <laughs> 